focusing on the Left 4 Dead 2 scrim network for American-based games in order to prep themselves for this. And actually, we are going live, so we're going to get this game underway with the first half of the first map of DK Group Stage 1 for the Watch Left 4 Dead Tournament. Take this away, Rails. Sure, alright, so first attack we have a Charger, a Smoker, a Spitter, and a Jockey. Charger going and actually going to land on two here. Spitter, unfortunately, spit on a tree before he was able to land on that. Jockey does land in the back here onto Xeon for a uh, pretty nice amount of damage coming out on that first hit. Indeed, that was a really nice Charger. Unfortunately, the Spit wasn't able to land her Spit onto the uh, survivors that were double charged. We do actually have an early Witch up here, I believe. Um, I'm unsure. There she is. She was over by Coach. I thought she was near Ellis. That's my bad. Yeah. But we will continue following this game through its entirety, and then after this game, we have another game scheduled. Uh, Team Latin, yes. Latin noobs. Yes, they, Latin, noobs versus... Latin noobs are NRJ, which yep. is going to be a Hispanic team versus a Russian team. So that should be pretty yep. interesting. But I'm expecting <laughs> the pings to be a little uh, wonky in that game. So I have a feeling that side going to be pretty strong. It's going to be a fun game. And actually, uh, for as we have a minute here, for Team Serious Business, it's Fig Newton, Xeon, Remix, and Tool. And for Team Salmon Catchers, it is Mutiny, Socialist Dog, RT, and High Cookie. So we, uh, as the survivors are moving up to this bridge point, there is another attack in, ready to go. And the Boomer, a Charger, a Smoker, and a Spitter, waiting for the survivors to come under that bridge a little bit more. Uh, smoker has spawned up now going in. Boomer's going to jump in, land on one on the coach. Charger going in, tries to get a couple punches, but uh, just manages to miss. And Spit misses entirely as well, so pretty handled by team, or pretty well handled by Team Serious Business there. Yeah, and for those of you that don't actually know, Team Serious Business is my team, so I might be a little biased in this game. But uh, I'm going to try to keep my biasness away from this game. Uh, because I really want to see a close game, I that's all I really want. I don't really care if my team wins or lose. Um, as you guys know, Remix is one of my old, old teammates from way back in the day. So I would love nothing more than to see him lose. But, uh, oh maybe. boy, uh, Boomer gets popped there. Uh, no, another attack is going. Hunter gets skeeted. Uh, Jockey and Smoker still up. Jockey gets dead stopped in them too, and then a pull does almost go down to Tool. And we have a tank up in the hands of Socialist Dog for Team Salmon Catchers. Where would you like to throw this war room over to? I think we should throw it over. I, actually, I, I, sh I should I should say this actually. We only have one war room for tonight. The Australians opted out of a war room, so we only oh, have okay. Team Serious Business war room. So if we were gonna go to one, we pretty much only have one choice. I think we should wait until Serious Business is on Infected to send over to that war room. Then, honestly, yeah, yeah that might be a little bit too much war room, unless chat says otherwise. If you guys want double-sided war room from uh, Serious Business. Let us know and we'll uh, make that happen. But as it stands right now, we're just going to do SI side. Cool. So it looks like the tank's going to try to play a little bit long. He's already down to 55% rage on his first pass, taking about 500 damage in ship. Just getting that shotgun out there by Remix, you know. Just trying to get as much ship as they possibly can. Now he's taking a little bit more. He's going to knock that car into play. Uh, pretty nice positioning there. Looks as though he's going to look to commit this tank pretty soon. Boomer spawned up, going to go in there and try to land. Uh, it's a little bit too far away, though. Tank's going to hit that car in, almost hitting onto Nick there, but uh, wasn't able to get much. Tank still has about 3k health, about to hit that car again, trying to get on the survivors onto the billboard. We have a smoker spawned up now, going to try to pull Rochelle below. Tank punts the car back down the hill. Hunter going in there, actually manages to land onto Rochelle. Car's going to go under an in-cap Xeon. So Zeon is now down. Looks as though the tank is going to try just to get a kill on him. And he does manage to kill Zeon on that hit. And now Smoker does go out. Tank has about 1k health left, knocking that car around. The rest of the survivors now just trying to push him to get out of the situation that they're in. But that was some nice tank play by, Se by Salmon Catchers there. Tank's now going to go back in, and he is going to get killed. But that was they, they got a lot out of that tank. Yeah, I mean, a kill on the Zeon is huge. Um, Zeon, an old Zone 69 player, I'm sure some people remember that team. And uh, he was the HR for them too, and he was a really good HR actually. And uh, that was a that was a big kill. That was probably one of the better people they could have killed off on this team. And so it's going to be three survivors left: Fig, Remix, Tool, up against the full team of SI. We have no attack coming here. Hunter or no Jockey and Charger working away. And nice charge off on uh, Coach, aka Remix. And that's going to be a spit down on him. That's going to be a lot of damage out onto Remix. Oh boomer. And wow, Remix yeah. takes about 70 damage from that hit. Big hit there by the Charger. Really good distraction by the Jockey to set the Charger. Yeah, and I mean, from what we've seen so far, it's been awesome SI play on the side of Salmon Catchers here. Even though with those pings, the first couple of hits really didn't do a whole lot of damage. But after that, they've really picked it up from that tank. And now that Charger and Spit going out onto Remix there. Uh, survivors still have about three sets of pills left. They don't have a Witch to contend with. So it's going to come down to maybe a tri -cap, a couple more hits that Team Salmon Catchers can throw at them. Next attack comes is going to be a spitter, a charger, a smoker, and a jockey. 
So obviously they're going to push their way out to the highway here and look to clear this comm before the SI attack comes in. And they're probably going to make that work because the SI look like they want to hold until the survivors get to that corner. And they yeah. do have a jockey and a charger and a smoker to actually make this track cap happen. So this should be pretty interesting. Reloading. This is uh, Team Serious Business is being extremely a lot more careful now. Uh, just trying to make as much distance as they can. Maybe thinking they can still get in the safe room. Looks like the attack is going to go in though. We have the oh we have a charge off right now with a nice smoke charge going down onto Tool. Tool's going to get incapped at the bottom there. Smoker's about to still has a little bit to go on his recharge. That's an incap onto Tool. Smoker still is about to go in there and just die to get the spawn rotation back up. But that's another uh, full health down pretty much for. Uh, team Salmon Catchers on a serious business, so even if the survivors are to make it with, to the safe room with three, their bonus will not be that much. Indeed, really the only health bonus remaining is on Fig, and we do actually have a few announcements to make, or at least I believe I have a couple. Um, okay. But we're going to wait a little bit later in the match, we're not going to say this term right now. This is very crucial for Team Serious Business, mm -hmm. and hopefully uh, we can make send them make the safe room, because I'm sure that the Australian team is going to make it. It definitely seems like they've prepared a lot. It looks like the ping isn't really affecting them all that much, if any. Exactly. And this is probably the optimal setup for Team Sam Cadre through the Boomer, Dracula, Charger, and Hunter. Boomer's gonna bunny hop in. It's gonna land. Beautiful on, uh, beautiful hop. Boom! Wow. Hunter's gonna go in there. Hunter, Jockey, both in. Hunter's gonna get dead stop though, and pretty much shut down by Tool. Jockey's still running around trying to get onto Nick in the back there. Doesn't get it, and the Charger unfortunately does miss. But that Boomer though. That was a beautiful B hop. He, I don't know how much he's practiced that, but that was absolutely beautiful. One hop, and he was on top of coach. And Fig throwing out the gotta go fast behind <laughs> his uh, his little signature right there. This is though they might get another chance to get this tri cap right before the save from here with that charge in the smoke. So if charge is gonna go in though. He's gonna bounce off the door. Uh, that guy going to much now with another just a spitter of boomer and the smoker. Spit goes in trying to delay. Smoker still trying to pull. Boomer lands on the tool. Smoker still just trying to get that desperate pool. He's going to take a little bit of more spit damage there, but they're going to get in with the health bonus that they have right now, which totals 147 for the first round 14 series business. So, actually, a fairly okay round, I guess, coming out from series business. I mean, Zeon did die. That's up very obvious. But they were actually able to make the safe room. So, that shows that if they weren't, if they didn't eat that uh, in cap and death by Zeon, they could have actually made that with a probably a fairly higher health bonus and not just you know with what they have but they could have actually probably done a lot better against the SI but uh they have definitely some work to do here on this map this is a pretty like hard tank to wipe with in my opinion I personally <laughs> don't like this tank uh, I like throwing rocks at people but it's not very practical as people have come to skeet rocks very easily I agree with you. Really, it can go either be it can either be really good. It depends on where you get the hitable in play, or it can be practically a no hitter there, depending on how it's played. Yeah, and your SI are huge in this. If you have a boomer, that boomer has to land, or else you only have two SI to go in with, and there's barely any good SI spawns on that part. Exactly. So we will be going live with the second half of the first map. We have the ooh, we actually have the tech coming in, so I'm not going to say what I was going to say. But we have a smoker, jockey, and charger working the way in. Char jockey lands on the back, and we have a charger work the way in from the front. Smoker, smoker goes down though, and charges gonna have to free charge. And absolutely nothing coming from that attack except for the 16 damage by Fig as a jockey. So I guess an okay jock, but really just it seemed like it was a misplay. The smoker kind of spawned and went by himself, and then had to back out, and that yeah. was really unfortunate. And Michelle gets a nice crown on that witch there, just kind of getting that 25 points to start off the bat there. So, even though with that ping, that jo the, the clear on the jockey was pretty fast, and they were able to shut down the rest of the attack no problem. So, like you said, the preparation by Salmon Catchers here is really showing off early. People, asking what, the more, sorry. people are asking what Bonesaw 436 is. I'm not too sure. It, it, starts up, it says it whenever the config goes live, and I'm, not, I'm not really not sure what it is. I think it's something that Fig put in. But uh, no, it, it's like a thing where uh, if you type in stuff like that, it has like this little sparkly, nice little thing that glows above one of the survivors' heads if they ready up like that. It has like a little whispery sound, like it's kind of mystical. I guess it's just a way for the survivors to inspire themselves before the start of a round. Really? Huh. Yeah. So you, oh, I, no, just... I saw it like a week ago, and I was I was like, what is this? Because I've never seen it say that before. I've seen it a couple times in pugs on Zen servers as well. Because this is um, this is still it's it's one of Zen's administrator servers. It's uh, I'm getting told right now by lights that Bone Saw is from Spider Man. Bone Saw is ready. Oh, okay, that makes more sense, I guess. Yeah, that um, that actually clears it up. I had no idea where it was from, but that's good to know. Knowledge is power. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, as we were talking there, all we really saw was Team Salmon Catchers inch their way down to this Humvee, playing pretty conservatively with this hit. In fact, you're going to have a Smoker, a Jockey, a Charger, and a Boomer. You're going to wait for the survivors to come under this choke point here. Uh, serious Business is looking to get a lot more damage than they did on that first hit. They have a nice setup to do it right here. Jockey's going to spawn up and just make some noise. The remix is kind of bouncing around up there. Uh, the Salmon Catchers are playing this very, very smart. Pretty much just waiting uh, to see what else spawns up. Uh, it looks like Coach, in the hands of Socialist Dog, is just kind of waiting to come under that bridge. Uh, this plane, all the spawns completely right. Some awesome baiting going out here. Survivor's still inching forward, little by little. Uh, and now the Smoker does spawn up, so the attack's gonna go in. Boomer's gonna get popped immediately. Charger's gonna go in and chest bump off a of Coach. Jockey's gonna go in, trying to cover here. They gotta be careful, that's a two-cap going out by Serious Business. Uh, that Jockey's able to cover and land on Ellis before he's able to clear Rochelle, so that's actually a lot of damage going out right now. Uh, Alice is still being written out. This charger is going to charge in. Almost gets another intercept, but that's going to be almost a uh, that's going to be almost a down there on high cookie. A nice attack out there by Serious Business, getting that cover. Yeah, beautiful separation there, and then covered by that jockey. Absolutely, what they needed there coming to this tank. Uh, high cookie's going to be. Uh, okay, yeah, he's actually going to pop. I don't really agree with that because he's going to bleed out once his tank comes up. A nice Ooh. pull goes out onto the car, but it is the alarm on. I actually didn't see the lights blinking at first, but indeed that is the alarm cross. That's going to trigger the alarm off, and the survivors going to have to go back and actually bleed out. Uh, while they wait for this horde to clear before going and triggering tank. Yeah, luckily for them, that, that didn't happen. They didn't hit another uh, couple steps far, because if they did, that tank would have spawned up, and that would have spelled disaster there. But now this boomer is going to go in, and is going to land on Ellis. Uh, another jockey is going to go in, too, get shut down by Rochelle. But now they're going to have to, like you said, just kind of wait and bleed out a little bit as this horde continues to funnel in. Looks as though Team Serious Business is going to try to get another attack, and with a charger and a hunter both... Beautiful up, charge! Actually... Wow. Wow. It's just going to knock... That. For those that don't know, that's a that's a very well-known trick there with the uh, Charger bumping off survivors when they're standing on the outside of that billboard. Uh, how much damage did Coach take from that? That was about 30 damage. That was yeah. that was sneaky. That, that was... Uh, Fig Newton is actually a Charger, and that was pretty sneaky on his part. I haven't seen that actually work in a long time. Yeah, I mean, the awareness by both teams right now is like, oh, especially on Special Infected, has been quite impressive. Uh, and so Serious Business is trying to put them in the best position they possibly can for this tank. Smoker has spawned up again, trying to get another pull. Fig still running around with that chest bump charger, running around down below with a uh, spitter and a jockey also in the spawn rotation for Serious Business on this hit. Survivors are being extremely careful because they know if they get a good hit on them as this tank spawns up, they're going to be in trouble. And we see some more baiting going out here. Uh, it seems Salmon Catchers, <laughs> what? Smoker is looking for that pole now. He's looking to grab it onto Socialist Dog. Look, Socialist Dog is going to cross, but Smoker gets killed upon uh, Tongue actually attaching. And the Jockey, Spitter, and Charger are spawned up. Tank is up in the hands of Fig Newton. And Charger misses. Jockey's still waiting down below. They're waiting for the Sars to go back across, but Sars is going to be smart and go back to the lower highway and work their way up that way. Mm -hmm. Not falling for the bait to the ladder. So good heads up play there by the Australians. And let's throw this over to a serious business war room for this tank. What do you say? Yeah, yeah I think we should definitely. You should spectate. Is that not legal or is it? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna do that to them now. You wanna play that way? We can just spectate. Oh, you got a rock. Nice. I'm ready. I'm gonna get you, you wanna SI attack? Yeah, yeah let's get up in two. I'm up in two. I'm waiting for a remix. You got sight. Okay, remix, I'm ready. Let's go. Cool, you ready? Go. Uh, close. You can just keep no damage out of that. I should have just scratched them instead. Get Elos. Never mind. You can keep sight on that um, truck on your right. I'm good. Yeah. Give another rock. You guys ready? Yeah, go quick. Yep. Let's go. Go in. Go in. Uh. Don't not to take that much chip. Yeah, I'm gonna let it pass. So we can commit next time. Yeah. Okay, cool. Damn, I'm freezing. Right. Push me luck, guys. Got that car right there. <laughs> so. They'll probably push to the roof, I'm not sure. No! Yeah, that charge ready. 
Help me. I'm ready. One more. Good job. I might get cleared. Nope. And we're back. That was a beautiful tank there by Fig Newtons, but what was even more impressive was that SI support. Big clutch there by the Charger, Hunter, and Smoker. Yeah, really just a perfectly played tank there. Fig Newtons able to land a couple of those rocks in order to uh, just chip the survivors down even a little bit more as possibly could. And then when that tri cap went in right there, that was a beautiful hit. He managed to get that early corner on Coach, and then once he did, the uh, special infected just took advantage of what the tank gave them, just tri cap there. So, uh,. Despite the efforts of Team Seven Catchers in that first round, it is serious business who is going to take the lead just by about just over 300 points, 306 points. Which is really nothing. Uh, distance alone, you can make that up. You don't have to make safe on, on the maps. But uh, definitely a, a very small gap for the first map. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, because I mean, when Zeon got killed during the first tank fight, things were looking pretty grim. But they managed to turn it completely around in just a couple of uh, just a couple of series there, with the uh, making it to the safe room, then being able to play that tank so well. We do have a shout out coming from Lights to a uh, team or to, to a guy named Chowder. Uh, Lights says, "Shout out to Chowder, captain of Team Chowder. Not sure where you are, not sure where you've gone, but we will be here waiting." So we have the first attack coming out. Boomer lands on a two. Oh, Charger gets shut down right away. That was the fastest Charger kill I've ever seen. Hunter lands for a second. He gets clear. And then Smoker lands a nice paw on Ellis. Going to put a bit of damage on the tool. And about 17 damage going out for the SI there. Boomer gets popped after dropping down. A little late, though. That might mess up their spawns a little bit. But uh, they just don't want a Boomer for the next attack, I guess, because they made him sack last. Yeah, and interestingly enough, the tank, we're going to see the tank at 18% here, so I believe the survivors are going to try to spawn that up as soon as they possibly can without another hit coming in. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who's going to, the hands uh, the tank are going to be in, but uh, they have a spitter right now, so the infector are going to need to sack this hit pretty quick. Spitter is spawned up looking to get that sack. Uh, actually, he's waiting to waiting to do something with it? Okay, he goes in, now he does this free spit, uh, kind of misses. Smoker gets shut down by Remix, and now there's just a charger spawn up, and the tank is in the hands of Mutiny. That's a nice name. I like that name. <laughs> I don't know what that is to do, but I like that name, Mutant Name. Unfortunately for him, I believe he's actually got the forklift on the roof in a very awkward position. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like it's it's lodged up against one of the walls there. It's like not touching the wall, it's kind of like sticking out like a prop from the top of the roof. So in order for him to use that anymore, he's gonna have to go up there and actually whack it down. Looks as though he's gonna try to do just that now with his infected covering him. Smoker or a uh, hunter or charger and a boomer going in. Uh, nice pounce going out right now, getting another boom onto uh, Fig Newton. And now he's just gonna have to stand there and wait for the rest of these common to funnel in. And now the tank is gonna hit that forklift. It's gonna bounce off of the uh, low skybox there. Just kind of bounce behind that sign. He's gonna have to get another couple hits to get this forklift in. Uh, and he's still, he's actually about to lose his first pass. He's gonna try to throw a rock down, not really gonna get much, so it's gonna be do or die time for this tank pretty soon. Yeah, for those wondering, when the stream does disconnect and then reconnect for a second, it's because I believe the quality options are kicking in. Um, and if you guys get more people to come and watch this stream, actually, it'll do that faster so more people can watch and people do lesser quality. Yeah. But we do have a nice hit coming here. Boomer lands on one, a nice jockey on the Nick, and he gets some nice ticks of damage out onto Fig. And if it, if it, Unit's actually losing this tank. He's on second pass at 30% rage, and he doesn't have any SI up to help him. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, it was, it was an okay attack, but he doesn't have any spawns right now. He's get, still getting chipped, but taking about uh, 800 damage here, but he only has 20% rage. He's going to have to commit this. Yeah, he's at, he's at 20%. He has to do something. Actually, survivors are giving him LOS. That might be a bad thing on them. And here we go. We have a Hunter, Smoker, and Charger here to support him. Tank is committing here, finally. Smoker's tongue gets broken, actually, by a wall. Hunter lands on Nick for a second, and Tank's going to go right after Nick. He, Nick is his. He's going to take care of him. One more punch is going to down him. We have a Charger and Smoker ganging up on Coach on the other side. Actually, Charger going for the charge. I don't agree with that. I, I think she kept punching. And Tank is... Tank is... going to pause. Oh, that was a Remix who paused, well, yeah, actually. Re remix was the one that paused, but I was like, Tank paused? <laughs> yeah. So. Actually, the thing is, with the ping, right, you saw that, you, you see the delayed hit there? Like, he swung at Fig, and then it registered maybe, like, a fraction of a second later, but it was noticeable enough because of the ping differential. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. So, we are currently paused. We are waiting for a Remix to take care of something. I'm not too sure what happened exactly, but as soon as uh, that is resolved, we'll get this game underway. Um, one of the big announcements that I actually have to make is I have to 
say a big thanks to Sir Please and uh, Sir himself for actually sponsoring me for better internet. So I can actually upgrade this stream to 1080p and as soon as we get the quality options, which we've actually been getting at like 80 and 90 viewers, I think. I don't know what we're at right now, but it seems like whenever we hit like 80 or 90 viewers, we get the stream quality options, which is really low. Um, it, 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 it's supposed to be like 200 or something, I think. But uh, we're getting it pretty early, and that's a good thing. Um, but we're going to be bringing you 1080p, probably 45 or 50 FPS streams from now on. Um, as soon as Monday rolls around, I'm going to have them upgrade it. So big thanks to uh, Sir. Like, that's huge. Like, I, I, could, I couldn't believe when he said he would. And we're actually going li to go live. This tank wants Nick dead. He is just camping him. He's going to wait for his SI to come up and hopefully make something happen on the Nick here. Man, that's a dangerous spot for the survivors to be in as well with the crane right there. But Ellison going for the pickup. He's going to get the pickup on the Nick. And Mutiny's just getting chipped so hard by Coach. Mutiny's going to die. He has, a, he has 5 HP. 5 health. F oh, wow. And he's losing it. It's going to be an AI tank with 5 HP. Stay focused. I, I can only imagine how amazing to say a tank's going to be. Oh boy, he has 5 health. That's pretty much he has one, 1. 1.25 points of health for each one of these survivors. He's going to go in there and get this wipe. Oh, he's chasing. This AI tank wants it. If this, if this is a good SI hit, something could come of this, but we have the attack coming in and Boomer managing what to land on- What the fuck just happened? Yeah, my game just blacked out. Me too. Uh, my game just uh, crashed. I- yeah, sorry for the language there, but, uh, they- they reset the map. What? They did? Um... Uh, Confoggle unloaded. Right now we're on vanilla. I can't even spectate. I'm on- the team salmon catchers right now there's gonna be no uh there's gonna be no spec slots for a second because somebody reset the server uh this guy named blackmancer was in here and then fig newton kicked him and i don't know exactly put what in here to reset the match but i'm standing here on team uh salmon catchers just kind of waiting to see what happens here uh they're loading pro mod 3.5.2 again but unfortunately we're gonna have to replay that second chapter there kiss me i've never had that happen before Wait, so some random guy joined the server, and then it, it reset? Well... Wait, who, what was his name? Blackmancer? What happened was, I think they, they uh, told I, him I, to I, I just got word from Zen, he says somebody reset it. He's not going to mention anyone's names, but somebody reset the server. Or not the server, but the config. Yeah, what um, happened was, uh, when, when he, they, like, Black Magic said spec or something like that, then I guess Fig remembered that you and I were the only ones who were going to be here to cast. Then Fig kicked him, and then a couple seconds later, it started, uh, it just, it, it unloaded Confoggle, restarted the map, and now we're, had to reload Confoggle, and now we're back in. Um, uh, they're asking us for the scores. I could look back at my VOD. If they just want to keep playing until we can get that, or if Zen Digital is watching, which I know he is, if Zen would be nice enough to actually get us the scores, I'm sure there's someone in the logs. And if he's unable to find them, we could just get the scores from my VOD whenever we finish this. Yeah, I honestly don't know. I've never had this. I've never seen this before. Actually, just a random like map reset in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the match. Yeah, that was something. I, I've never seen that before either. That was... Like, when my screen went black, I was like, this isn't just me, is it? But, uh, yeah. So let me bring us back into the game here. We're gonna have to replay that tank the first half of the second map, and I hope this is actually this... This is the first half, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's still first half. They're actually going live right now, by the way. Alright, so we're gonna get this game back underway after a, a little mishap there. I, I'm, I don't really know what to call it, but... We are live once again, and we're going to have uh, Team Serious Business over on the survivor side with Team Salmon Catchers over on the SI. Attack, come in here. Jockey, Charger, Hunter. Oh, double skeet there on the Jockey and Hunter, and Charger gets shut down just as well. Going to be a bit of spit damage on Rochelle, actually. And survivors are going to continue making their way through here into the tank, and the new tank yeah. is at... Let me actually bring up spec up for a second. Actually, we have a witch. Let's get... Let's capture this witch first. Rochelle going for the crown onto the witch. Oh, misses the first shot, and oh, big... Uh, Ellis, aka Tool, there to save Rochelle from that impending uh, hit from the witch onto Rochelle. 
Actually, it said that Zeon managed to get the uh, M2, and he managed to shoot before, right before the witch hit him. So he actually got like 2,000 damage on that witch. He must have missed it by like a couple points. Another attack is going in right now, though. Uh, we have the infected all flying in there. Hunter lands for a couple ticks of damage. Smoker does get a plot side with a jockey covering here. Jockey's gonna be able to jump in there and disrupt this. That's gonna be a nice little bit of damage there going on to Tool. And then Nick's gonna run into spin and get caught by a trash can. Fig just lost about 50 health. I don't agree with that play at all. I think he should have let his Uzi and just everyone else just spam down that smoker. He, I mean, the damage taken would have been a lot less than him running through that spit and going for the clear. And I don't know, that that restart there changes a bunch of stuff now, because that tank was pretty much toast. He had that 5 HP left now. They're going to get another chance to play a different tank, too, and uh, serious business. Can't be happy with the way in which that unfolded, but they're going to have to try to play through it here. Uh, next hit is coming up with a Hunter, a Charger, a Boomer, and a Spitter. Hunter's pouncing around in the back. Charger spawned up as well. Charger's going to get it. What the hell? That? What? Is that a death charge? No, it's not, but he dropped no. him into the spit, and Zeon's probably, he's almost going to go down. That was one of the most interesting charges I think I've seen this week. Uh, then that uh, Hunter did get skeeted, but I thought that was a death charge for a second there, but it bounced him back out, and there is a Tribum out, too. Tanks seem to be in the hands of Mutiny again. Looks like Mutiny's gonna be knocking some dumpsters in here, uh, just shooting them over that wooden fence or wooden wall. Uh, so now it's up to Team Serious Business to try to play this tank as well as they did the first time they tried to play the tank this chapter. That was. I'm still thinking about that charge. I haven't. That yeah. charge used to be a death charge, actually. I remember that. It happened once before, and only one time that I remember. We have that come here. Jockey gets shut down though, right along with the charger, and Hunter gets ski just as well. Uh, Team Serious Business doing a really good job of shutting down the SI here. Uh, it's just a matter of how they handle this tank now. It looks like they're going to get aggressive on this tank and try to take him out. I agree with this full-heartedly. I believe that this is probably the best idea, and they're just going to get free chip onto this tank, pretty much. Uh, he just pushed too far up, and Sarvis made him pay for it by taking 432 damage away from him. Or health, I mean. Yeah, and he has about 20% rage, 15 now on his first pass, so he's going to look to probably get a rock on this next hit with a Charger, Smoker, and a Boomer coming up for Team Salmon Catch responds. Rock's going to fly in there, almost hits Coach, but luckily it was a little bit short. Uh, then the Smoker is going to get a pull onto Nick. Charger's going to wrap and just punch him around a little bit there. Oh, a nice rock going out from uh, Mutiny there, landing that, getting a full rage refill and 24 damage onto Fig. Fig has to be careful here. Uh, He's probably not going to commit his pills here, just trying to kill the rest of these common, winning as long as he can. Zeon has committed pills, so he's going to be bleeding out still. Tank's going to keep rotating here. Still has about uh, 5.3k health, just over that as a matter of fact. 85% rage on first pass. Spawn should be coming in a couple seconds. This tank can still do work. He's not taking much shit from these shotguns, actually. Uh, Team Series Business is not, just not hitting their shots on the tank through the wall. I mean, they did about 100 damage there and about, like, 20 shots. So Tank throwing another rock. Not mind you land it, but Jockey lands on Coach for a second. They were cleared almost instantly. And Sorrel's going to go back to trying to pick away at this tank. And now the damage comes in. Another 500 damage being pushed out onto the tank in the hands of Mutiny. At least Mutiny got the second tank, though, as well. So it didn't change <clears> the uh, tank order or anything. Yeah. But yeah, Survivor's just picking away at him. Done 1,600 damage so far since that last SI attack went in. And now he's down to 2,992 health. And Survivor's a really good job there taking him down. It's either he commits now or he has to play the longest rock tank of his life. So it looks like Tank is... Yeah. Nice skeet there going out by Tool onto Haikuki, and Charger gets shut down just well. That smoke attack almost landed, but broken by the tree. And this tank, he just has to throw rocks now, because if he commits, he's going to pretty much die almost die. instantly. That's what I was saying. The survivors are getting pretty aggressive there. They're moving out into that open area, rotating pretty well. I'm going to be surprised to see what they do here. Um, they might actually even try to push forward in this case. Looks like the uh, tank is going to have to try to catch up with them here, and maybe just Hail Mary a hittable into there. He misses the first hit on it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Almost. Burma coming in, nobody shoots him, but he managed to get popped by the tool. And this tank's just playing with these dumpsters, and he almost hit Nick and Coach there. Another dumpster hit, but it hits the power generator, and tank is dead. Hunter lands onto Ellis in the background there. Uh, Jackie fighting with Fig, but Fig managed to get the dead stop onto it and shut it down effectively. And that's going to be a free pass, I believe, for this ladder. I don't think any mm -hmm. SI are going to be up. Yeah, Fig's been and got to go fast. He knows that they have a chance right now. That Spitter might be able to get up in time and do a little bit of a delay, but really not much. And Remix is just going to run up that ladder and get that. So they've actually managed to kill the tank and also navigate one of the most dangerous chokes in the entire uh, in the entire campaign. Indeed, so good heads up play by them. Knowing to push that ladder as soon as Ollie, as, as I went in and the tank was down, they knew we have a free pass here. Let's take it. And so Survivor's going to continue it their way up here at the top of the slide. There is an attack right here. I don't know if the SI are going to go in there. They get blocked. The, they could still go for the from the back. And it looks like that's what they do. Here we go with Charger and Smoker. Where the way and Smoke gets clear to me. And Charger gets shut down just as well. 
really good shutdown there on these charges. These charges are really not getting anything. And uh, Coach kind of just left in the back, boomed, and she cuts the smoker. Or a spitter, I mean. Yeah, Remix is kind of left alone up there just to deal with these two uh, support SI. He's carrying like a very, very large part of the health bonus, probably about like 80% of it. Uh, saying here that he's still at 84 uh, permanent health, so he's still green, still able to carry a lot of points into the safe room if Team Sirius been able to preserve it. This is though Team Salmon Catcher is going to get maybe two, three more hits in, if that, uh, before the survivors are able to make it. Depending on how this goes, right now they have a smoker, a jockey, a spitter, and a hunter. That hunter is fun of jumping on top. Jockey's going to go in there and get M2'd and shut down by Tool. Uh, smoker's going to get a pull on Tool through the fence, and then he gets shut down as well. Looks as though they've kind of desynced a little bit on the infected hits. Uh, spitter's going to give a little bit of a delay there. Uh, maybe they were trying to sack for the next hit? I'm not sure. It looked like they wanted to do the early hit at the beginning of the carousel, but something happened and the hunter didn't go in and the spitter didn't either. And then Smoker went in right after the jockey died, so they were kind of out of sync there. I'm not too sure what that was. Maybe just a misplay? I'm not really too sure what it meant. Sure. We, we have a boomer about to spawn up here next to this bush. He spawns up looking for the boom. Managed to get two boom. Nice boom. And Hunter's going to go in for the pass. Land on their shell, and that's going to be a spit down onto it. Um, unfortunately, Xeon is not the health bonus, but Coach oh, is. Oh, that's their health bonus. So good heads up play by Jackie, noticing that the health bonus is separating, goes right for it, and Spitter has to get some scratches onto him. That dropped the health bonus a lot. Wow. Yeah, they managed to knock down Remix there by almost, almost about half of his health with that little bit of a hit there. So they managed to salvage it. Uh, but, however, this is going to put the pressure on them to really play this map well enough to get that kind of health bonus to keep pace with serious business. Charger going in as well. It's going to land onto Ellis right there and take away even a little bit more of that health bonus before they manage to get in. Smoker trying to find a spawn. is going to get blocked by Nick. Right, not much else they can do here, but uh, Team Serious Business does make it to the safe room. Bl what the heck? Blowing up the door, blowing up the boomer, and managing to make it with a 188 health bonus plus the 25 for that Witch Crown. So good survivor played there by uh, Team Serious Business. Uh, a little questionable out there at the end. Uh, they kind of left Remix alone, and he was the holder of the health bonus. So a little bit questionable there, but other than that, they played fairly solid. And now it's time to see how the Australians fare on their survivor side. And then we see Bone Saws ready, which oh I boy. now know it means. <laughs> I am I am happy now. You can stay. If you had to give a little bit of a synopsis, how do you feel uh, the game has gone so far for your team uh, serious business? I think it's gone pretty good so far. I mean, they're in the lead, so you gotta take that into consideration, obviously. But uh, their survivor plays all right. It could be a little bit more solid, but I'm, I'm happy with a nice double cap going out right away. Nice triple cap, actually. A little bit of a triple cap. Uh, Char uh, Rochelle got cleared by the uh, her teammate Nick a little early there before a full track cap could be initiated. But still a nice uh, double cap there at the very least. Remix deciding just not to go in there. He's going to save that spitter for the witch. Screw spitting on in-cap people. He's going to get this witch deny. Going to jump in there and spit on the witch. Just kind of jump around on her head. And survivors manage not to shoot her. Now Rochelle's going to go for the draw. And Rochelle does have a nice draw crown there by Artie. Yeah, Artie's actually a pretty nice guy. He added me and he keeps asking me for scrims. Unfortunately, I'm not a starter for my team. So I don't believe he should be talking to me. But he keeps asking. He's a, re he's a really nice guy, as most Australians are. And uh, I'm really glad that they actually decided to participate in this tournament. They're a really you know, great bunch of guys, and you know, it's just what this community needs. More nice people and you know, just easy to get along with. That's really awesome. I mean, uh, especially in this tournament, you see a lot of really good sports coming out. A lot of like uh, very, very nice relationships going in between the teams, like good sports and shit. I haven't heard any reports of anything the opposite now, whether it be a massive lead for one team or a very, very close game. It's been very, very cordial, very, very respectful, and just really for the good of the community. Yeah, I don't think they made too much of a commotion when uh, that whole restart happened. But we have Tech coming here. Smoker gets a nice smoke, and then Charger takes the charge away from the survivors. And we have a nice jockey onto the back, onto Coach. Going to do a lot of damage, and Boomer going for the double boom at the very end. So they're not going to have a Boomer for the next hit, and I think that's exactly what they want for this tank. They don't want a Boomer. They probably want a Spitter so they can get something on the way back here, probably, with a Spitter. True. It looks like Figazo is trying to put in uh, more commands here for... Uh, the max players on this server. All right, there we go. They managed to get it. Hopefully, this does not restart and foggle again. That would be nice. Yeah, I'm okay. Still... Looks like we're good. I wonder if that guy was registered as a caster, and then when Fig kicked him, it caused something to go weirdy. We have an attack coming here. Hunter looking for Deepu, but it doesn't matter. Land this sense to go onto Coach. A nice jockey there onto Nick. Uh, definitely gets some separation here in this actually really small area, but they, everyone was focused on the coach and with the jockey on the neck, nobody really cleared him immediately. 
Yeah, I mean, you've seen a lot of nice attacks go out here by Serious Business. Uh, despite the rhythm being broken a little bit by that restart, they've really come back now, and they were putting uh, Salmon Catchers in a tough position. They have to pretty much ace this tank, which is going to be up right now in the hands of a Remix. Thinking we should take it over to a Serious Business War Room? I am perfectly fine for that. Let's see what these guys are talking about. Alright. Oh, tank is as far, but let's go. Okay. Ready. Nice. Let's try cap. I was dumb. I pounced Nick while not even being towards his body. Mm, they're going back. They are, they are. Yeah. Bleed, motherfuckers. We're in second pass, so that's dangerous. Can you get the boom? It's true. Gotta get that boom. Come on, go. Damn. He's gonna go AI. Yeah. We can come in with an AI tank. This will be interesting. Interesting. Let the tank come in first. Wait for tool. Okay, I'm ready. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Charger. Nice. Oh, this tank. Oh, oh. Let's go for the high tank. Was it tank worth for the it? Win. Was it worth it? Yes, it was. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I. I I, I'm speechless. I, I can't yeah. believe that worked. Like, Remix was literally getting mad because he couldn't keep his rage and he knew he was gonna go AI, and somehow, some way, <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. What was their reaction, if I can ask? <laughs> Remix, was, Remix was just like, if that was so worth it. <laughs> He's like, worth it, worth it. I can't uh... believe that actually worked. So, an AI tank turns into a quad cap, pretty much, with a smoker, hunter, and a charger as support. Um, really good SI support there, managing to land their hits, and then just AI tank going after one of the boom guys. Luckily, he went after the boom guy that wasn't capped, because if he did, then he would have killed the SI that was, you know, uh, in capping him. But, uh, Honestly, though, I mean that's a risky call to send it back that far. When you you don't mind to think about it, when you send a six, if you have if you have the right hit, right? If you have a six K. AI tank in there who's going to focus and tunnel survivors like that, especially with boom things. Um, that's actually going to be quite dangerous for a survivor team if they're not prepared for it. Like, it looked at first as though they were going to be able to kind of kill the AI tank, but then when that hit went in, everything that could have gone wrong for the survivors kind of did. So, Let me fix the here them. for a second. There we go. We're good now. So we're going to go live with the first half of the, the third map of Dark Carnival, and we're going to have Team Serious Business in the lead, and we're going to have a pause as well. But uh, Team Serious Business up at the current moment, 833 points to 259. Uh, so they're in the lead over Salmon Catchers right now, and it's still a pretty close game. I mean, if Salmon Catchers can manage to wipe here early, and, or whenever the tank is up, and just make this map. I mean, this map's worth a lot of points, but uh, the coaster is definitely a feat to be had. It's actually a lead uh, for Serious Business of about 900 points. So when you factor in the scores from that first chapter, that are going to have to be added probably by Zen at the end of the uh, at the end of the game or something like that. But uh, right now we have to we have to factor in that 300 points as well. But still relatively close. Yeah, it's been very well played by both sides. Like I said, it was kind of just unfortunate for Salmon Catchers during that strategy when they ran it back that it did not pay off for them. Uh, but now they still have a couple more chapters to make this up, especially with an early tank here, as you said. So it looks like the SI are going to hit early here. It seems. Uh... I, I'm not sure where the jockey went. So, so jockey's gonna be there, and then we're gonna have two SI coming from the back. And indeed, here we go. Smoker looks for pull. Doesn't manage to land. His charger gets shut down immediately, and Boomer lands with a jockey on a Nick. So Nicky, Nick taking a little bit of damage there, and well, exactly 12 damage. And that's all the attack's gonna do. It had potential, but the smoker missed his pull in the safe room, and the charger didn't have anything to do afterwards, and he just got mowed down his way in. Yeah, it seems as a serious business is uh, one of their trademarks for this entire match has been just shutting down those chargers. Like you said, the chargers got annihilated last chapter. You thought it was like the the, the shortest charger life I think you've ever seen or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he, he, he ran off it. He ran off the top of the safe room on the last map and he 
died like halfway through the air, and that was that was quick. But we do have a tank up yeah. in the hands of Artie for uh, Team Salmon Catchers here, and uh, sorry, I was gonna back the way up here. We have a tank coming in here. Start, try to look for charge, doesn't land, but a nice tri boom Ooh. going out by a mutiny onto three of the survivors. We still have a hunter not spawned yet, but he's waiting to go in with this tank. I don't know if the tank's gonna commit though, because he's actually eh, not nah, because all the common are dead, so he's gonna stay out for this one. Yeah, but um, he's probably not going to take a lot. Oh, he's actually he's in danger of getting chipped right now, though. Uh, looks as though Tool is going to get very aggressive there and just get a couple uh, hundred points of chip there off that tank. The more chip that tank t that tank takes before he goes in, the better it's going to be for that survivor team. Let me just see what he's going to do right now. He has 25% rage left on his first pass. They do have the tri cap, a charger, a hunter, and a jockey. I think they're going to probably send this tank just right in. Yeah, that's definitely the best. But if you wait any longer, this tank's going to go AI, and they have a really good setup for this uh, potential quad cap. All the servers are bunched up into one corner. This could be... Oh, there double we go. Charge. There's a nice double charge there. And that's going to... Oh, a nice hunter as well. That could be a tri cap on the front, but no charge gets cleared. Jockey misses his jock onto Ellis there. And this tank's just doing work, spreading the love with the damage. And all this tank still has 2300 HP, so these survivors have to make something happen. He gets another hit on Ellis. He ain't done yet. He still has 1100 HP. He's going to keep going and look for the hit. Doesn't manage to land. And now Coach is going to start beating on him with a golf club? Yeah, golf club. Yeah. That was very unfortunate right there. You saw a nice double charge going on. The tank had one cornered, but then what happened was when the jockey got his, I think the hunter accidentally took the jockey's target. So when that happened, it gave uh, it gave Ellis a chance to kind of uh, gather his bearings there and just kind of get up. And once he was able to get up there and dead stop that jockey, then he was able to break up that tri cap. That was so close to being a wipe for Team Salmon Catcher. It's just unfortunate that they weren't able to land it for them. I was actually really excited for that tri cap. I would I would love for that to land because that means if the Australians actually made it past that tank. They would be making up all that those points. I mean, they're only down by, I believe it was a 600-point deficit. So that's really nothing, and distance would absolutely help them every inch of it. We have a smoker smart from the back. Imagine you grab a pole on to Coach, but Coach gets the melee onto him and clears himself. Hunter goes on to Rochelle, and nice charge on to Coach with the early spit. So that's going to be a lot of damage on Artie if that spit actually takes, and does take, and Coach is going to go down from it. Yeah, it seems as though now the ship is indeed going out. That was a great tank there played. Uh, now they're going to have two bleeding out and only two pills left, and they still have a lot of this map to go through right now. So if they're able to wipe them at the coaster and then play that tank pretty well, then the Australians do have a chance definitely of making up a lot of that differential. Um, like you said, it's like between 600 and 900 points somewhere with the uh, point section from the first chapter. But that's still pretty much nothing in references like this, because with the way in which Salmon Catchers have been scrimming and the way in which they're able to play, like this is still definitely, definitely a very close game. I know, I actually completely forgot about the first map, how the scores are reset, so that's my bad. <laughs> there is about, uh, what is it, about 400 points from the first map? I think it was like, it was like 300-ish, I'd say 350 maybe. Alright. So right now the score so, is approximately, or like 1400 to like, or not even 1400. Let's just forget the scores, we'll add up at the end, and we'll see yeah, where yeah. we're at. But we do have an attack going here, boomer booms on the guy at the bottom, and three servers are still up top, looks like they're going to use a uh, coach as some bait here. Coach in the hands of Remix, and he doesn't have any permanent health, so that's a good idea. What the? And Coach actually cutting the tongue of the Smoker with the Golf Club. <laughs> and the Smoker going for another pull on the Rochelle. Lands for a second, but it gets cleared almost immediately. Jockey and Hunter working the way in the back. Hunter gets dead stopped, and Fig is out of M2s. So he's going to have to... Oh, Rochelle eating the cap for him, actually. Which is actually a good idea, because Zeon doesn't have any permanent health, but Fig does. So Zeon taking the hit for his teammate to preserve the health bonus. I'm not sure if he actually cut the tongue with the golf club or if it just kind of angled around the, the wall the wrong way, but it was definitely some unfortunate timing there for Team Salmon Catchers. Usually that'd be a nice pull to be had there, but uh, Remix is spamming that golf club looking for anything he can hit and just happened to be a tongue around a wall. So then the next attack for Team Salmon Catchers is coming up with a Boomer, a Smoker, a Spitter, and a Charger. Probably going to look to sack that Boomer before they get onto this next hit. Uh, yeah, Boomer is going to go in here, oh, almost, get shut down by Remix. Uh, so now that next spawn is going to come up. Uh, Fig spam got to go fast because they know they have probably about uh, 16 seconds ish before that uh, spawn does come up. So if the smoker, a spitter, and a charger, it looks as though Team Salmon Catcher is going to have to take this. It looks as though the witch is in a position where. Uh, actually, I actually don't know where she is right now. She's at the top of the coaster, and this witch is pretty hit. much dead. Yeah, let's watch this witch get run over in uh, bird's eye view here. Oh, look at that. That's a witch for you. So attack is going in right now uh, with that smoker spawned up. It looks as though they have a jockey too. This is the uh, optimal setup that Team Salmon Catchers could have asked for. They got to do a lot of damage here. Rochelle going up here trying to get that jockey clear and more of the common. Charger to spawn up too along with that spitter. Looks as though Rochelle is going to have to try to run back down the coaster here. Smoker's going to pull on Rochelle. That's not going to be a lot of damage. Charger's going to charge in nicely though. That's not going to be an in-cap on the Fig. Spits just a little bit short. Actually, now it is going to land just a couple ticks of damage there. Fig almost goes down, but still pretty, pretty well handled by Team Serious Business on the survivor side there. 
And they do have to stop the smoker, but he doesn't have a charge up, so he can't do anything about the survivors who's running up there. The smoker still could manage to get a pull backwards across this fence up ahead here. But he's actually going for the full despawn, so he's not even going to look for it. No, he is actually going back. He's going to look for the pull if he can grab it. But survivors are smart, and they drop off to the right side, or everyone except for Zeon. He stays up top. And nice boom going on to two survivors. Smoker looking for a pull in the back, but he doesn't get it. I hear him, and he missed. Out of range. Yeah, he's way out of range. He's not going to be able to get that from there. They have a Smoker, a Jockey, and a Hunter up right now. Looks like the Jockey's going to go in two. That Smoker's going to try to get a pull. Jockey gets skeeted. Uh, Hunter's going to almost land on the two on the top there. Now, the Smoker does land for a couple ticks of damage, but uh, he's actually looking pretty nice right now for Team Serious Business. Yeah, as long as they can protect Alice, aka Tool, who has basically all of the health bonus to be had. Um, he's sitting at about 73 right now. Oh, that's not even him. That, he's, uh, Tool's sitting at 66. I hope Zeon's help by accident. And uh, if they can preserve that, it's going to be a big health bonus. Uh, they're currently sitting at a 324 health bonus, and survivors are deciding to push this. They're not even going to wait. They're just running across here. Spitter goes in and doesn't manage to get any ticks off. Three people get boomed, though, so nice boom there. But there's only a jockey to be had, and there's a charger up top uh, in front of the survivors, but I don't know what he's going to be able to do. I mean, he's not going to get no quad charge here. Survivors are too separated for that. So he's going to have to just go for a punch onto somebody, and hopefully he knows to focus on Ellis. And indeed, he's going to go in and look for the punch. He gets one punch on Ellis. That was pretty much all he wanted to do. That's all he could have hoped for. And he got it. That's it. Smoker here at the end. Going to try to land a couple things there. He's going to get pretty much shut down. Not really going to get anything. Pulling into the safe room. Rochelle got pulled for a second, but they do manage to close the door. And they are going to finish this map with a 276 health bonus. Not too shabby. Honestly, for making it all that distance, surviving that tank, surviving the coaster here, that was a very, very nice job by Team Serious Business. Uh, Logan just kind of extend their lead a little bit. So if we if we need to approximate scores, it's about 2,000 to 500 at this point. So Team Salmon Catchers really has to make something happen on this map. Well, looks like we're going through the tunnel. Yeah, if they want to definitely try to win this over in the fourth map, they need to ace this tank almost, or at least have two people with at least actual health bonus left. Uh, Temporary is definitely their enemy right here. They don't want to have anyone in the red. And hopefully they can make that happen, because I would love to see a close fourth map. But the fourth map on this map is just absolutely insane. It's, it's, it's like the game changer. And But at least the distance of it was lessened. Because I, I remember when map four here used to be worth so much. It, it's like one of the shortest maps. But we have an early boom here going out onto Nick, and uh, it's not even going to trigger the rest of the SI. Actually, SI moving up, but Charger looks like he's just sitting in the safe map for some reason. I don't think... Not sure, that might have... I don't know. I think that was a sack for a spitter, but I think the survivors are just going to kind of wait it out. Yeah, I'm not too sure what the SI are doing, because they, two of them were staying on the ramp when I was looking. Let me look again. And now Charger's back in the safe room. I don't know if they're going to try and go here. I mean, their fourth is up. They do have a spitter. So they might just get another hit here quick. No smooching, y'all. Cool yeah. saying in Infected Chat that they're saying, didn't you already have a tank? So we might see a repeat tank here, either by Remix or Fig. Probably Fig, if, it, if there's going to be any repeat, because I don't think they'd give somebody tank two uh, chapters in a row like that, even when they reset the server. I'm trying to watch the SI spawns. It looks like they're setting for a corner hit now. They decided to not hit at the heart. I, I'm not really sure what they're doing. They keep changing their spots. I don't know if it's a miscommunication, or they just can't decide on what they want to do. The Saravas are going to continue bidding here, just clearing out some common. Um, they're going to start pushing forward as soon as they feel that it's, it's a safe situation. But, uh... Well, do they know the SI aren't, aren't going to hit them right now? The SI look to be actually it. getting antsy, though. They're moving up with their spawns. <laughs> uh, I mean, we've, see, we've seen a lot of patience here from both sides. This is this is pretty special right here, because the survivors don't know what they're doing, and I don't know if the infected know what they're doing either. Uh, um, they seem to be, like you said, some indecision here, just still floating around with their spawns. Looks like they're finally going to settle to hit when they move in to engage that uh, nice mirage of... Uh, common up there pretty much then uh smoker's gonna try to get a pull forward spitter's gonna try to step in the back jockey as well this is some this is some sivo finals baiting going on right here yeah this is indeed some really hardcore baiting i think that i think they don't understand that the si aren't gonna hit here i mean they would hit by now so they should be outside and look at rochelle's going back into the room she doesn't understand but smoker looking for <laughs> gets the pull on to nick this is gonna trigger the attack charge is gonna go for punch he misses the charge actually but he does get the spit down a lot of punches going on to nick Dropping Socialist Dog about 50 HP, wow. So, all that waiting and still a lot of damage going out, unfortunately. Yeah, it was pretty much worth the wait there for the infected team. Uh, Could have gone a little bit better if they hadn't uh, 
accidentally summoned them off, and yet Fega is spec tank, so they're going to get a different tanks. Either going to be Xeon or Tool for this round. Um, and then we obviously aren't going to know who's going to have Finale yet. Looks like though, since they've been able to... Also, because you might have to respec here, because I'm getting you as a spitter right now. I will go ahead and respec for you. We have attack coming in from back here. Charges going for the charge, but misses and just hits the wall. We have a we have a jockey boomer and hunter going working the way in here. Nice single cap on Ellis, a nice double boom to complement it. And hunter going for the pounce on the coach in the front, but doesn't manage to land. And this tank, this tank could probably if he just kept running mm. in, he probably could have gotten Nick. Probably. Looks like he's trying to land a rock instead, though. Uh, do you want to take this over to a serious business war room? Yeah, as soon as I'm done changing my camera angle, we will do it. Let's send this over to a SB war room. I think you should mid because the horde. Yeah. Wait, wait, the horde come. Okay, I'm gonna get a spawn. You go now. Just wait for him to get in there. Alright, let's help him. Okay. Oh, you missed. Sad face. Oh, punch. Nice. Drip a punch! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Better to miss. And that was a tank in the hands of actually Tool and another wipe. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, it seems as though things just haven't been really going the way of the salmon catchers. They're trying to run back to the safe room. Tank was able to get a, actually a multi punch and then a lob. Just nice. The the problem was I think during the tanks a lot of the SI support has been landing. Yeah, unfortunately, they couldn't really do much about the SI, as you said, and just the SI just had a free day, pretty much, and tanked. Nice, I have to say, Otula got a nice triple punch there. He actually ran yeah. towards one of the survivors, and then he backed up, and he got the guy on his back. So really heads up play there by him. Yeah, I mean, and unfortunately, though, that score differential is becoming a little bit more harder and harder to overcome. I mean, uh, the tank's going to be at 22% here, so with a full wipe here by Salmon Catchers and then a lot of distance, they could make it at least close. But as the score stands right now, it's probably like a, uh, let's see, 200, another 300 there. If I do my math correctly, that's about a 1,600-point lead for Team Serious Business going into this fourth map. Yeah, I mean, first map, it definitely seemed like the Australians had a chance. They did a lot of work. They even got the kill on the Xeon. But uh, second and third map, we haven't really seen much, and hopefully, you know, they can make something happen here on the fourth map and try and even it out. I mean, if they could, if they could cut this down to like a maybe like four or five hundred, you know, difference, that's a pretty, you know, tall order to fill. But if they could manage that, the fifth map could definitely be the one to decide this. Yeah, and unfortunately, it seems as though the ping has had a lot more effect on them on the survivor side than the infected side, which you can kind of expect with the uh, ability to aim and stuff like that being a little bit delayed by their connections. Uh, their SI has been pretty okay, but then when you get to that survivor side, trying to dead stop, trying to shut down attacks, especially during tanks when a lot of stuff is flying around, it's a lot harder than you might think. Yeah, I do feel bad for them. They have such a high ping. I, like like I've said for a while, I would love to see a left at two land. Like, just see the top yeah. teams from Asia and Australia and America and... You know, the Europe and just all the scenes play together. And we have Tack coming in here and Charger Hunter, actually Charger misses the Hunter lands and Nick actually gets, <laughs> Nick ran into the spit and then got pounced. <laughs> that's, that's really unfortunate for Fig, but the God frames actually really helped him out there. So a little bit of a mistake there by Fig, but luckily, you know, God frames saving lives. And we have a, ta uh, we have a tanker in the hands of Socialist Dog. I think he became a spectator right before that happened, that's odd. Uh, if he spectated right there, he maybe shouldn't have gotten the tank, but it is in his hands, so he's going to see what he can do with it. Would you like to keep it here for this, or send it over to Serious Business War Room uh, now, and then we'll announce the Serious Business tank? What do you think? Uh, yeah, we have an attack coming here, though, I know that. We have a Hunter, Jockey, Charger. We're going to win. Wow. Charger and Hunter both get shut down very effectively, and then Jockey just gets melee away. I, I really have to say, Serious Business's work on the Chargers has been amazing. Uh, like the Chargers haven't done anything pretty much this whole game, and it's been absolutely amazing to watch. Um, usually Chargers are the powerhouse of the SI team, and Serious Business is just really focusing them. Yeah, I, I guess their theory was that if you shut down the Charger, then the attack is pretty much just taken completely out of sync there. So shutting down any one of the special infected is good, but that Charger, like you just said, is the centerpiece of the attack. This, this tank is going to have to commit right now, because I believe it's on 30% second pass. 
There you go. He is going to jump in there. He's going to try to get a uh, smack onto the middle of that rail there. Boomer does get shut down by Tool. He's going to be pushing Ellis right now into the corner. Maybe trying to get a little bit of long arms. That Charger's just going to kind of wing in. Not going to be able to get much. Smoker really misses as well. This tank is all alone, unfortunately, in serious business, just laying on the damage right now. Tank's going to try to curve a rock here. Barry misses Rochelle. Tank's going to try to get out here with about 1,500 health left by the time they're done shipping him. And unfortunately, he failed that first climb. So, like I said, 1,500 ish. But uh, things are definitely not going that tank's way right now. He only has 10% rage, 5%. He's going to try to land this rock. Going to miss the rock. And he, this is about to go AI. It now is AI with about uh, 1,000 health left. And that might have been uh, that might have been what did it right there, for unfortunately, for Team Salmon Catchers. Uh, this tank pathing is uh, oh, boy. something. Oh, there we go. He's uh, finally deciding to get off the bush and go in. So tank worker just waiting from the back or front side, I guess you would say here, as the survivors have to go that way. Don't want to rock, but not manage to land. And tank has some hitables here, but he's not going to actually hit any of them. Oh wait, AI tank does hit one. It almost hits Alice. That was so incredibly close. We have jockey working wait. over on coach. Oh my gosh, I look. I sorry, I looked at the uh, I looked at the spec HUD right, and for some reason it said the AI tank had 4,900 health, and I was like, wait a minute, it got stuck and regained health. Reloading. I would hope not. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that would be something else. Uh, I so got tank scared there for a moment. The tank almost, the AI tank, I should say, almost getting a car hit on the tool, one of the bumper cars. Really close, actually. And uh, just to answer the question that chat was talking about, this stream is actually 720 and 35 FPS. Um, when I get my new internet, thanks to Sir, on Monday, I will be doing 1080p at about 45 or 50 FPS. I'm going to see what wow. looks best, because I don't want to push a bit rate too hard, because I know I'm not going to get the full 5 megabits I'm supposed to get, but... uh. We're definitely gonna up the quality of the stream, and hopefully it you know looks good and you guys like it. And once again, yeah. thank you to all of you who's tuning in, helping us get the quality settings really early. Like I can't believe we're getting at 30 viewers. People usually get at like 250. I guess it's just because there's so much activity going around the channel. But we have the stars working away into the barn here. Nice pull charge onto Rochelle. Uh, Spitter's a little late here. Spitter actually missed it. Spit. Oh, Spitter spit up top by accident. That's really unfortunate. Oh. We have a witch right now outside that door. Hunter's gonna pounce in there and he's gonna land on the Ellis, and Rerix is gonna sit there, kiss the witch. Uh, Tool takes a little bit of damage, but they get that 2,500 points with a very nice crown there by Remix. So, survivors are looking, they're pretty much sitting pretty right now. They have all their pills left. Everyone's still green trying to rush this event now. Uh, trying to pretty much put this game away by the end of this fourth chapter. Unfortunately for Team um, Salmon Catchers, they really have to do a lot of work right now if they want any chance here. Smoker's going to spawn up and try to get pulled in the back behind that prop. Not going to be able to get much. Charger's going to go in and land on a remix for a couple ticks of damage. Jockey's going to come back here and try to cover that smoke, but unfortunately it does uh, get shut down. Now the Spitters is kind of left. Smoker gets popped. Uh, Spitters is kind of waiting to spit on anything right now. Wasn't really able to be a part of that last attack, unfortunately. Yeah, Survivor's just playing a really good Survivor side. Obviously, but uh, I'm not really sure what what the Australians have left to do here to answer this. I I feel like their options are actually kind of running out at this point, which is unfortunate for them. Yeah. And they get the 2 2 here as well, the Spitter or Charger, Hunter, and a Boomer. Looks like Hunter spawned up trying to go in for a little bit of a pounce and distract there for the rest of his team to come in. Chargers get spawned up, Hunter gets killed, Charger's gonna go in there and manages to land on Nick, but unfortunately the Spitter got popped before he was able to spit. And we do have oh, a boomer coming in a little bit too. late here. Yeah, again, managing a double boom onto Rochelle and Nick. So, uh, you know, at least the boomer landed. Yeah. Um, it was unfortunate with the spitter, it got shut down immediately, even though the charger did land, which was one of the few charges that have landed. Um, it's just amazing. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole work that uh, Serious Business has been able to do really since that first chapter. That, after that kill on Zeon, they pretty much paid all, uh, played almost perfectly since then. This last attack is going to go in right now. So, I mean, an interesting try cap going out right now, actually. Uh, we have a nice pounce on the neck. We have a jockey on a remix. And then Tool's going to get pulled back. It's off to Zeon to get these clears. And just as we were talking about that, Kiss Me, look at what we made them do. There's a try cap going out by Team Salmon Catchers on a Team Serious Business. An absolutely beautiful attack. Zeon manages to get uh, Fig back up, but Tool is getting uh, hammered by those common as he's down there. A very that, That's probably the best attack they've lit on them the entire game. Yeah, I'm definitely off. I definitely agree with you, and I'm actually pretty excited because that's what I want to see. I want to see a closed game. I want to see just, you know, down to the wire. Unfortunately, with the distance points that Serious Business got, I, I don't know how much of reality that is anymore, unless uh, Salmon Catchers can really make it with a health bonus this map. But a beautiful try cap. That was... It, it was literally perfect. It was exactly what they needed. Mm -hmm. um, survivors were literally sitting at like, I believe it was like 70 and up, and up in health, 
And after that attack, only Xeon has any permanent health, and he's sitting at 35 or 39, somewhere around there. Hmm. So just a beautiful hit. Like, that was an absolutely perfect try cap, and it shows that the Australians do have something left. Um, hopefully they can just ace this survivor side and make it to save him with a nice big health bonus. Hopefully, yes, but um, still that's a little bit of a daunting task here because they're going to need to match at least the tank play that happened uh, on the survivor side of serious business. If they manage to do that, then like you said, they might be able to make it and keep this close, kind of close going into the finale, but uh, judging from the way things have gone so far, the way serious business has kind of been holding down their special infected as well, because that's where the ping actually is able to make a lot more of a, uh, a, lot more of a difference, I believe. Yeah, I, f I feel that on the survivor side is where you feel the ping more. I mean, yeah. I, I, I used to play on Wi-Fi with, uh, like, <laughs> it was like, a, I don't know, like, two megabit connection. Like, it was absolutely horrible. And uh, I, I used to ping, like, 160, and my survivor, I couldn't dead stop. Like, for the first, exactly. for the first like, three years of this game, I could not dead stop a hunter or a jockey. Like, that was my weakness, because my ping was so high and my connection was just so bad. But uh, I, I know what the Australians are going through right now. It's a you know terrible thing to have to play, but you know they signed up for the tournament. I'm happy that they did. You know it shows that they're interested. And you know Ping ain't gonna stop them from playing. They're gonna play if they wanna. To be honest, so team serious business with the roster that you guys have been able to get together and the way in which you guys have practiced, like you guys are one of the easily one of the top teams in the tournament. Proving it right here, going on the nice double cap landing there. Spinner gonna jump onto Rochelle, who was also pounced. Jockey's still going for some nice damage. Rochelle getting fisted hard by that charger, uh, and that is another great attack going out by Team Serious Business onto Team Salmon Catchers. Yeah, another beautiful attack there. Um, just really landing their SI, and not even the charger landed. He just went for punches. Um, he saw that Rochelle had an Uzi, and he's like, if she can't track me well. I'm going to land four or five punches on her. He actually landed more than that. He, I think he got six or seven. Mm -hmm. And now the tank is going to be up in the hands of Zeon. So, I don't know what we want to do here. Do you want to see what happens with this attack action first? Nice. Oh, oh, pretty much a double cap in the back, but Coach gets cleared right before Ellis gets pounced. So, good heads up play by Ellis getting the clear before uh, you know, double cap actually ensued. But, uh, what do you want to do here with this tank? Tank's still on pass one here. Looks like he's going to be able to, uh, looks like he's going to be able to just kind of knock that dumpster straight up and down in there. Uh, Surrides are running around in the bumper cars. I think we should send over to Serious Business Worm, see how they're going to play this. So, yeah, I mean, we're just going to pretty much wait here until this... Uh, we, you know, we should probably just send over to the yeah. war room. Let's yeah, see, let, let's what, see what they're too. doing. What do you got to lose? Fuck it. We got the dumpsters. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Wow. Alright, let's hop on, hop on, let's go. Okay. Get both of them. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Hit that dumpster. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> That's free. And we're back, and just another beautifully played tank there, and this one by Zeon. Um, just the hittable work there. He hit every single one that he shot the survivor. Or survivors, I should say. So three hits, three downs. Just really beautiful work there. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I know you talked about the earlier prediction by some people was that the American team was just going to pretty much steamroll here. And I, honestly, though, for the first couple of maps, it seems as though Sam and Catcher is going to be able to keep it close. But after that, uh, wipe right there. Serious business droids are asserting their dominance, proving that in this tournament here, they're they're primed to make a run, do extremely well with the games right now and what they have coming up with them as well. Uh, they've just played pretty much shut down ever since that, uh, ever since really that kill on Xeon in the first chapter, they kind of picked it up and just uh, turned it on, and now we're seeing the results of that right here. Yeah. Excuse me, I coughed. But uh, yeah, I just really hope that. Uh... Hi, Cookie. Left. You have been kicked for command spamming. <laughs> for spamming unpause. Apparently, looks though like he's uh, looks as though they're 
This is they're at the point where they're kind of just resigned to the fact that this match has not gone their way, just trying to get pretty much out of the way. Uh tank's gonna be at twelve percent here. Maybe they can attempt to uh get some kind of uh some kind of morale boosting tank wipe or something like that, but uh Unfortunately for them, this match really just hasn't gone their way. They, uh, they, like, I, like we said, they're very, very brave and very, very gracious people to enter the tournament and decide to play scrim practice on American servers with such a uh, high ping. And uh, they are going to look forward to the uh, next round, I guess, for them at this point because uh, the score differential is unfortunately it's just a little bit too great. I believe if you add on the uh, extra 300 points there, uh, let's see, like 2,800 to 451, I think it is mathematically impossible for them to win. But still, they're playing it out, and we're showing a lot of good sportsmanship coming from all around the Lefferdead community internationally this time. Indeed, and we're going to have the survivors going out of safe from here. First hit coming in here, we have a boomer actually gender changing right there on the corner screen. Smoking an early pouring charger, managed to get the charge on to Rochelle. Hunter gets dead stopped, unfortunately, but he's going to get a scratch off on Alice, and the tank's going to be up the to tank the hands AFK. of Hardy. Uh, maybe? He's not moving. Oh, now he's there moving. He there is. we go. And we actually still have a witch up. It looks like Rochelle's going to go for the crown on the witch while the tank is still up. And yeah, she's gonna just, you know, get ballsy and go right into the witch. Wow. So, uh, Xeon just saying, you know, this game's, you know, we're pretty well off already. So, we'll see if, you know, you guys can capitalize here. And unfortunately, no SI and tank all the way back outside. Really no answer from the SI. He's trying not to lose his, uh, he actually did just lose a pass, so he's going to have to commit in right now. He got chipped down to about 4,700 health. He's going to just go running in there right now with this hit that he has up right now with a Charger, a Smoker, and a Boomer. Charger, unfortunately, is going to whiff there. Smoker also whiffs, gets uh, shut down right there by the two survivors in front. Boomer not able to land anything either. Uh, Charger getting some nice punches, though. Those long arms coming out from already there. Uh, gets almost a down on the tool, uh, and then he does go down. So, almost a down on the tool right there. It's going to force him to commit his pills. So, uh, once again, a nice tank for that. Uh, the SI kind of, no, you know, lacking in the help department, but, you know, tanked what he could. He got all that damage on the tool, and, you know, he had to do what he had to do, and he made something happen, at least. Exactly, and at this point, um, but with the way much of the game is gone, that's pretty much all they can ask for. Uh, trying to get as much uh, support in there for that tank as they possibly could. Get as much damage as they can. Another attack is going out right now. We have a nice pull going out onto Ellis up top. Then the Charger is going to take him halfway across the stage. Uh, there's a Boomer running around trying to land on the coach right now. He's going to get M2'd. We're really not going to land anything, but another in cap, or actually the first in cap going out onto Tool. <laughs> but, um, I know there's another thing. Oh, yeah. For all of you that are wondering, we're actually going to have another game going on in about 45 minutes. Um, depending on when this game ends, I might just leave the stream up, put some music on while we wait for it to start. But it's going to be Latin Noobs versus NRJ. So Latin Noobs being the Hispanic team that has entered the tournament, and our NRJ is actually a Russian team. So the pings might be a little wonky for both teams, but it should be a good game, hopefully. And we have Ooh. nice another hit going out here. Nice charge at a really long distance onto Rochelle. And she's going to go down, actually, from the spit. So really good spit there as well, managing to actually hit that angle. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a delay attack at first, and that long charge did manage to connect. And as you said, yeah, this is going to be a very, very interesting match that we have coming up after this one as well between the Latin Noobs and NRJ. Uh, it's actually going to be my first experience seeing uh, two teams that are that diverse playing against each other. So we're gonna, probably going to see some... Uh, Interesting internet connections. Going to see some interesting plays by both sides here. And unfortunately, we will not have war rooms because we personally would not understand anything that they're saying, I believe, right? Um, pretty much. I mean, the viewers might understand. I know some people were asking for the war rooms, but I really wouldn't know how to get the war rooms unless someone can provide them to me. But we have another tech coming in here. Smoker going out and then Charger taking away the smoke guy. And Smoker going for the re-smoke, but uh, Coach saying no and mailing him away. And that's a really bad tank spawn, actually. Tank spawn directly below the survivors, but I think he should respawn somewhere else. Um, no, he's actually going to be stuck uh... in there. So he's going to have to... <laughs> that's a really bad tank spawn. <laughs> this is probably the worst tank spawn you could ask for on this map. Um, you basically just have to push out into the survivors. The only good thing is the SI can spawn on the concert stage roof and kind of help you from there. But, uh... Yeah, they're going to need to get that tank out of there because he's completely choked out right now. All the survivors know exactly where he is. They've seen the unfortunate way that this game has gone for their opponents. Uh, this tank's going to have to try to make his way out. It's still taking a lot of shit. Now, I think it's going to jump out, as you said before. Survivors are playing it safe, trying to stay on the bleachers there. Jockey has spawned up, ready to go in. Charger as well. Uh, this is though that Jockey got cleared. Nice double punch, though, by that tank. Uh, Pole does go out under Rush. They're going to punch Zeon down there with the help of the Charger friend. Charger's going to get a nice charge now onto Nick. Uh, tank managed to get another cap in the corner over there. Does get cleared. 
Gonna send Fig hurtling through the air onto that wooden thingy. Uh, Tank does get a punch down onto him, so now there's only one survivor up in the hands of Remix, playing as coach. Tank's gonna get a nice rock on the Remix right here. Spawns are gonna be up in a couple of seconds. Remix is just gonna run, uh, run down, kind of run around there. Tank's gonna have to keep set on him. Uh, this is very, very close to a wipe. Four team salmon catchers right now. He's gonna throw another rock. Remix is gonna try to get that, uh, try to get the pickup on Rochelle. Uh, and it looks as though now the spawns are going to come in with that charger and jockey still up. Tank pushing him halfway across the world here. Uh, but unfortunately for them, the charger and the jockey spawn. Remix trying to get chip on both of them. Jockey running around. Charger 2. Remix versus world. Remix is going. He manages to kill the charger. Tank is still ready here. Throwing rocks at Remix. Re Remix is going to dodge that. Now watch. High Cookie's going to get smoker. Yeah. It's always a smoker. It is always a smoke. Oh, oh is he gonna let this happen? He's not gonna let this happen. He's pushing the smoker and he gets to kill the smoker. Wow, remix. Oh, oh but the jockey oh, lands. <laughs> it wasn't the smoker. It was the jockey. <laughs> so oh, a little unfortunate there for remix. Man, you uh, stay alive that long and then just have that happen to him. But uh, nonetheless, excellent tank play and SI support there from uh, Team Salmon Catchers. Managed to, at managed to wipe them with the second tank of the map. And for those of you that don't know, in this version of Pro Mod, there is no third tank. There's basically the beginning tank, and then the tank that's up right now. And it comes up at a about 400 uh, distance points. I literally yeah. had so many coffees before this cast that I can't talk straight. And I've noticed that half the things I've been saying during this cast are, aren't even correct. Um, what do you mean? Like, just some of the calls I've been making, like, you know, Coach Land to Nick and then Charge Land on the Coach. Coach Land to Nick. Yeah, when it, when it was, like, nothing like that. Like, how... It, it made no sense, but, uh, I said it. If you thought that was bad, just wait till we get to about, like, halfway through the next cast. Well, right now I'm hyped up on about seven coffees, so I don't know how much worse it could, it could actually get. Um, I'm gonna lay off the coffee, because I do have to go to sleep after the next match, because I have work tomorrow, but, uh... I will be here. I'm going to be just as hyper as I am now. And hopefully I can calm my uh, speech a little bit, though. So we will be live with the last half of this match. Uh, team Semi catches on the survivor side with serious business over on the SI. We have an early hit here. And Boomer, nice rocket boom. What distance he got Whoa. off that. And nice quad boom. This tank might just push in, even though there's only a smoker for support. This tank is going to push in. Oh, let's do it. Send this over to serious business. Warm. Uh, do, do, do. Lol. Push back. Mildly? Okay, I'm missing punches. Hey, get the fuck out of my ear, will you? A little bit of frustration there by Fig, uh, whiffing a couple punches there onto Ellison Rochelle. He's not the happiest camper, but, uh, yeah, that's Fig. Oh, Witch just pushing the charge out of the way, saying, I don't want anything to do with you. And charging, and managing oh. a nice double charge on the coach and Ellis, though. So, uh, kind of making up for there where the Witch failed. Yeah, no, really, Team Salmon Catcher is really showing that they're not letting uh, this point differential discourage them, you know. Uh, I believe one of the first things that I was told when uh, entering competitive play and stuff like that is, like, no matter what the score is, play like you're only down by 100 points, because you never know what you could do. Bruce's going to jump in here and get a nice boom there on a coach. Uh, Fig's trying to get another pull here as a smoker here, not getting a whole lot. Uh, other spawns are still coming up, Spitter and Jockey. Looks like Fig's going to try to wait a little bit. Survivor's just going to run back and clear that horde. But, le but like I just mentioned, you know, Team Salmon Catcher is still just playing this out, and they're playing very, very well. Yeah, I mean, like like we said before, we know it's like to plan high pings. It, you know, and I did it for three years, and it's just a horrible feeling. You just hate every moment of it. But you know, they decided to uh, play through this so they can actually play Left 4 Dead. They don't even care about the ping; they just want to play the game. And we have another tech coming here, smoking out a pole, and it's clear right away though. Jockey going, it's melee just as well, just as fast. And Charger goes in, misses everything, but gets one punch onto Ellis, and that'll be the end of the attack pretty much. Spit not getting anything. So, uh, you know, actually. What's your predictions for the next match? Because I don't, I don't really know what to think of it. Next match coming up between Land News and RJ. Well, I honestly, I, I had the, uh, I had the opportunity to play against and sc or scrim against, I should say, scrim against Latin Noobs. They were pretty good. Uh, they're still a pretty new team coming in, thus the name Latin Noobs. Uh, similar, uh, not exactly similar to the team that came from Lesser Learn the other night because they do have a couple people who have had some experience on that team, I believe. But uh, it's very interesting to hear how they love the game too and just kind of found each other there. We do have attack going in here. We have a charger landing, a hunter landing momentarily, Boomer as well. Jockey jumping around, does land on the Rochelle there. Boomer causing a lot of trouble for the two survivors down there. Still no clear going on the Rochelle. Nice jockey. That will be an in-cap down on the mutiny. But uh, I really... Oh, nice. Nice boom there as well at the end. Just got proxying on the two other survivors. 
I honestly don't know what the predictions for the next match are going to be. Um, especially, I'm, I'm not an expert on time zones either, but I expect it's going to be quite late from where Latin noobs are coming on and quite early for the Russians. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be a very very interesting match. I think both on a from a gameplay standpoint and from a casting standpoint. Yeah, I believe NRJ is mostly based out of Moscow, so I'm going to say it's going to be about a nine hour difference. They should be ahead of us nine hours I believe so it should be about 10 o'clock in the morning there oh nice double caps going out there this could be a triple cap no hunter actually lines it onto Rochelle and kills Rochelle with a DP so that was actually unexpected I wasn't looking at Rochelle's health there but uh Rochelle is dead and survivors have one down and Artie's bleeding out pretty hard here and Hunter's looking for another DP unfortunately for the survivors oh, we had some GG's going out actually here we come, Hunter working in for the DP. Manages the, the actually not land. We would suggest really whiffing these chargers. Or not chargers, but hunters. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for the DP with a charger. <laughs> and Hunter goes in for the. They got stopped. Yeah, I don't know what remix is doing. <laughs> Silly <laughs> remix. Yeah, it's remix. Uh, now there are only two survivors left. Artie is down. Socialist Dog is kind of standing there. Uh, trying to fend off these common, though, but that's very, very hard to do with 218 ping. Uh, looks as though they're just gonna leave it at GG here. Uh, Artie is going to die now. Socialist Dog versus World. Uh, running around here, and we do have the last tank coming up. And it seems as though Team Salmon Catchers, a couple of them have already left. That's gonna be hit tank in the hands of Tool with a Charger, a Smoker, and a Jockey. So 4v1. I have all the faith in Socialist Dog right now. Tank spawns up right oh, next to him. Oh, oh, he dodges the Charger. Dodges the tank punches. Smoker Matt is getting in smoke, and that will be the. Oh, nope, Tank Freedom. And it's just an M2 party right now, and he goes flying down. And that will end this game in favor of Serious Business. Adding on approximately the points from the first uh, chapter that got restarted, that's going to be a grand total of 3,500-ish to about 1,000-ish in favor of Serious Business.